Today we're talking about a brand new plugin from Motion VFX, who are Polish. I'm very proud to be working with them for so long. It's called M Tracker Area, and it is fantastic for drone pilots. If you're in the drone business and you're doing real estate with your drone, or even if you're just flying around and you want to show people various areas in your image, M Tracker Area is incredible. It basically tracks your whole, you know, shot that you've created. And you can put a small area like a house, a building, a piece of land, a lake, and you can track the area. It doesn't matter what kind of move you're doing, M Tracker is going to track it. And you're going to be able to choose different templates that you can stick in there. I may be talking a little bit too much, so I'm going to show you exactly what they look like because they're very, very useful. And it comes in at $189, but it's on sale right now with the affiliate link down below, so make sure you click away at that. Let's check this out. This place, well, zombies live here. Right here, this is up for sale for an absolute bargain, right in the center of which it's quite the dump, so I wouldn't recommend picking it up, but either way, you can get it. I passed through here the other week and um, completely croc infested. These things are massive. Do not, whatever you do, go in that water and don't fly your drone too low. Right here in the center, the center of the city, we have a campsite. It's completely illegal, so I wouldn't put my tent up there, but just in case, it is there. And this is a big fat no-fly zone, right next to the Black Beach in Iceland. If you go there, your drone could be shot down. So we're going to use this little orbit here I shot a couple of weeks ago in Wutsch, and it's already tracked. So all you have to really do is pull it over onto your footage, press track, and then press copy track. Go over to the left, we have M Tracker 3D Area. And it's going to have a few different options. You can choose any one you want. They're all a little bit different. Pull it on top of your footage and drag it all the way along. Once you've done that, make sure it is selected. And when it is selected, remember to paste track. When that's done, it's now copied the tracking onto your footage. Now, it's going to now tell you that you can just start drawing. So you don't have to press anything else. Just click away and draw the area you want to be tracked. And that is about it. It's tracked. It's that simple. If you press this little slider here, it's going to curve each little corner, very, very little to quite a lot. And I curve them a little bit just to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's what it looks like right now. But we can really swap and change everything as much as you like. If you want captions, if you want titles, if you want things flying by, if you want to change that grid down there, you can do. It's really, really easy. We can change the duration, so how long it fades in and fades out. So now it's going to be really, really nice and slow. So you can see that line building up around. I kind of like that a little bit more in this quite slow footage. And if we go to the label, we're going to change the label. Now, my drone did fall in here by mistake. I was holding it in my hand and it just fell in. So I dropped my drone in here. And if you click on the line and press label, you're going to be able to add that text. It's really, really simple. You can change the font. You can change exactly where it sits. So all we have to do, I'm going to turn the frame off, by the way, because I don't appreciate the frame. Some people might, but I don't like it. We're going to change the label position, and we can also change the label rotation. So you're going to rotate it on different axis, which is very, very helpful, and it gives you that kind of 3D look. Considering the actual tracking is done in 3D, it looks really nice and very futuristic, and it's going to definitely wow all your clients. So we can basically rotate any of these axes. If we go down to the very, very bottom, we're going to have our fill. Not me, but what's filled in the box. We can change 
the animation of it. We can change what's there, so we can do a solid. And we can change the color of a solid, which is nice and simple, and it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. We can do red, we can do blue, we can do basically any color you want, as well as changing it to a drop zone. So you can drop, I don't know, a house, a project, even a drone in there, or my face. But we're going to leave it on design. So that's basically what the design is. You can change the different width and how many different boxes you have. It's very, very flexible. You can also add a caption. So that caption would be below the design. And like I said, this is a very flexible, flexible, very, very flexible program plugin for Motion VFX. The M Tracker area is something that I think would appeal to a lot of real estate drone pilots or really whatever you're doing out there. It doesn't even have to be a drone, but for me, this works fantastically in a drone environment. So this is what it looks like in full screen. And as you can see, it is crystal clear. It looks very nice and very professional. So any work you have, whether it is drone work or even film work, you can show people exactly what you want to show them on screen. This is one of my favorite parts in Iceland and look how well it's tracking that flat spot and those waves are gnarly. So as you saw, that looks pretty damn cool. It's really easy to use. Like I said 50 times, it's very flexible. So you can basically change everything like you can in most motion VFX plugins. Once again, Polish company, awesome, absolutely awesome. Any questions, comments, likes down there, make sure you're subscribed and um, gonna catch you on the next one.